Welcome back guys. In the previous video you learned about how to set up React uh, with the help of Webpack and Babel and in this video you're going to learn about what are React components. So React components allow you to split the UI into independent reusable pieces of JavaScript codes. So you know when you have a large application and uh, if you want to reuse a code for example uh, if you have a home page, contact page, about us and you know that probably the navbar will remain common all of these three pages so instead of writing the co same code for the navbar over and over again or header or footer over and over again you can simply go ahead and break your code into small chunks so you can uh, create one file for header one file for footer and then in all of those three pages you can just include the same files for uh, header footer etc so basically it helps you uh, debug things easily as well is because compared to looking at a code which is like 10,000 lines uh, and if you're looking at code which is just 100 lines you know which one will be easier right so components allow you to break those codes into small pieces so that it is easy for you to manage it is easy for you to debug things and it looks more organized as well okay so there are different types of components. Uh, one is class-based component and second is functional-based components. So what are class-based components? Class-based components extend React component class and it requires us to use a render method. Render method is basically to go ahead and render the content uh, on your site. And functional-based components uh, are actually pure JavaScript function that accept props as its argument and return some JSX. So JSX is basically JavaScript XML. Uh, it's syntax that allows us to go ahead and write uh, HTML like uh, and you can write JavaScript also inside of it. So we will learn about JSX in some time. So I just want to show you how they look like and then I'm going to you know get it in action and start coding and show you how to create a class base or a functional base component so class base component look like this so you have a class uh, you can name it whatever you want and then you extend reacts class uh, which is component and then you create a class out of it uh, and there's a render method which goes and return uh, some content here it's returning JSX okay and you have some props etc which we will discuss in later this is just to give you an overview how a class based component would look like so then you have the functional based components and you can see it's just a function and uh, called heading and then it accepts props and it just returns the method so the main difference is you can see first of all uh, the other one is a class this is just a function second difference is that the, the first one which is the class based component needs to have a render method and uh, the uh, function based component doesn't have to, you just need to return JSX, returns, return content, constant basically. Content, okay. Great, so now uh, let's get it in action and let's see uh, how things look like. And uh, before we get into that, just one more thing I want to explain to you is that uh, you should idly use a class when you need to manage state and functional based component you will use that when you are generally dealing with returning some content you are not going to write a lot of functionality which which you know deals with state if you just have some props that you want to pass in then probably you will use the functional based component i've recently taken a workshop uh, conducted a workshop at work and uh, this is a repository for that if you go to github.com slash imran sayed react dash workshop you will see all of the codes uh, that are available uh, that I'll be teaching in this tutorial series uh, for example in the previous videos we learned about how to uh, go ahead and add react in a minute uh, for your website uh, we learned about how to go ahead and set up react app using uh, webpack and babel so you have a repository for that as well there's one with the create react app as well and the one we are currently discussing is component type so you can just you know you have the description mentioned you can go ahead and take the quotes from here to follow along great now let's go ahead and uh, so all you have to do is guys uh, just clone this repository you know you just do git clone and then let it download once that is done then just run npm install and it's going to take all of the uh, information from here okay and then just check out to this particular 
branch which is react app webpack so you have everything set up okay so let me do that so I've done that guys uh, I'm into this particular repository uh, and I just need to check out to this branch so I have everything set up Okay, check out react app webpack okay and then you just need to do npm install okay install all the packages so I've already done that so I don't need to do it okay and then just open that into PHP storm so I'll just do this okay so I've got everything open now let's go ahead and create a directory inside of source we call it components components okay and let's create the first component as a class based component you can name it whatever you like I'm just keeping it class component as the name so that it's easy to recognize and then you just need to import react from react so import is a ES module syntax okay to import uh, from a particular node module okay so then you say class and ideally what you should do is you should keep your class name as well as the file name the same so if this is class component extends we need to extend the react dot component component class we extend the react component class okay and then as we discussed earlier we, it needs to have a render method so we, we have a contract with react that a class method sorry a class component needs to have a random render method otherwise you will get an error if you don't uh, use the render method okay so then you just return and it needs to return some content over here some JSX okay and we can just say this is class component okay we've created this class we have a main component here as app.js so all we have to do is just import it here so I can just say uh, class component okay before you even do that we need to export it so that it's available to the outside world okay export class component and we just need to say default okay if we want to export uh, only one thing as default we use export default if we want to uh, you know go ahead and export multiple things then we generally define it as const and then export that thing okay so which I will explain to you uh, a bit later uh, but we're just exporting one thing over here which is this class space component okay now it's available to the outside world which is here so it, you can access that by importing it so inside of the app.js I'll just say class component and you can see and closing tag okay uh, so as you can see that uh, it's already imported this from components which is this directory uh, this one and you have the class component here right so let's go ahead and run the command which is npm run dev so this script is going to run the webpack dev server in development mode so let's run npm run dev and it's going to st start the webpack dev server which we've already discussed how that works in the previous video if you haven't already watched one and it's started our server on port 8080 and webpack has gone ahead and bundled our index.js file which is basically going ahead and uh, using react or uh, react dom dot render method taking our application with a uh, component app and inserting it inside of the root uh, div with the id of root which is basically inside of the index.html okay here so you can see this is a class component so it is being rendered okay so if you do an inspect element and you check inside of root you have a div with the class with this one right so if you go to app.js we have imported this component over here okay and this component is basically returning this is class component and that is what is being rendered over here okay so this is your class based component and then similarly you can create a functional based component as well so I can name it as functional component you can name it whatever you like okay again we need to import react from react 
and then we can just say const and functional component is equal to so using arrow function and it needs to return something so let's return a div this is functional component so guys this is JSX basically this is JSX I will explain to you in a bit you know, how JSX works but uh, it is returning this this element basically and like I said if you want to export it you can just say export default functional component okay if you had multiple uh, components you can also define multiple components over here like this for example const um, and you can say another component and uh, and again it can return some JSX and it can say this is another component this is another functional component and if you have multiple ones and if you want to export them you have an option like you can say export const functional component not export const it's actually just export functional component or you can just directly do that over here instead of doing that there export const export const okay now you can actually import it inside of app.js so I can import uh, we have functional component okay so you can see it's imported right uh, notice that if it was a default one we didn't require to use these curly braces but since it is not a default uh, export uh, we are using the single ones okay in fact it's returning multiple over here that's why we're using these uh, curly braces if it was just export default and just it was returning one component then we'll just use without curly braces like we've done for class component okay similarly let's just import the other one also which was another component and you can see it's already imported that here okay and let's go back refresh in fact we didn't have to refresh webpack would have done that already in the watch mode so you can see we are rendering this is functional component this is another component as well so both are being rendered okay so as you can see this is the class component okay it has a render method with the return and then this is these are the functional component okay they uh, they accept props uh, as well you can pass in props but uh, I will discuss that later um, I think for now a basic understanding of class and functional component I think this is a good example okay but when we discuss the state and props uh, we will discuss further about them okay alright guys so we will go ahead and learn more about it uh, in fact we will go ahead and learn JSX in the next video take care guys bye bye